Hey YouTube, it's Ashley and you're watching The Substance Project, where we work to bring you more than makeup tutorials and fashion hauls every Wednesday. Today's video is, I'll call it a book teaser, it's not a full on book review, but it's for the book Think by Lisa Bloom. The subtitle is Straight Talk for Women to Stay Smart in a Dumbed Down World. You know, if you're looking for information that will open your eyes on things that you care about or things that you should care about or things that if you knew about you would care about, this is a great book to start that journey. It was a really quick read and it was it was the kind of read and the kind of material um, that we seek to bring you guys here on the Substance Project. So I just thought it was like amazing alignment for the, the type of information that we're trying to bring forward through this channel. There are so many issues of substance and she really she hits them at a high level. She hits them in a way that's very easy to understand, but she also gives some great facts and sourcing and that's why I love it because it's just chock full of great information. It's not fluff. It gets to the heart of a lot of issues. You know, as I as I look through the book, um, I dog-eared and underlined and starred so many sections that I want to go back to and really digest and think on and, and sort of take better notes on for you guys. But wanted to highlight just a few of the really eye-opening facts and trends that she brings to the forefront of the book. She opens the book with a study that reveals some pretty staggering and shocking and scary stats about American women, one of which claims 25% of young American women today would rather win America's Next Top Model than win a Nobel Peace Prize. She goes on to give stats on a number of other issues. For instance, in her home state of California, she talks about how in the 1980s, 17% of the state budget was spent on higher education, while 3% went to the prison system. And there's been a really big transformation over the last 20, 30 years. To the point that when this book was written, and it looks like 2011, at least my edition, California actually spent more money on prisons than on our public universities. 10% of their budget going to prison versus 9% going to public colleges and universities. Another topic she takes head on, the cosmetic industry, both in terms of surgeries and operations, but also just the makeup industry and the, the amount of money that we spend to improve ourselves via makeup. She takes on climate change in a way that frankly I'm embarrassed to admit in my 30 years I've never heard addressed so succinctly. She makes it so easy to understand. She again brings hard facts with great sources into the conversation and makes it really relatable to help us understand how just a small global climate change can actually impact things that we care about, like the Maldives, which Lauren and I have visited together, or American cities around the Gulf Coast, along the East Coast, and just how devastated they can be. She takes on the bias of major American media. One way she does this is by highlighting the media coverage that Angelina Jolie has gotten in, in the last 10, 15 years. Um, I wasn't a huge Angelina Jolie fan before reading this book, but reading how the media has portrayed her and what they've chose to cover versus not has really opened my eyes. And beyond a lot of these topics that sort of make us feel like, God, there's so much wrong with the culture in America today, she also offers suggestions for how we can fix it. And they're really relatable suggestions. She was a single working mom. She, she gets real about what you can outsource and what you can't and how you can free up time and how you can do it in a way that's enjoyable. I loved the book. If you're looking for something similar, um, give it a read. Again, I'm going to try to digest it over the next few weeks and give a more thorough book review. Hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to our channel and maybe even think about sharing us with a friend, your mom, your sister, whoever you think might like us. Thanks so much for watching and please come back again soon. Bye.